Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jonathan aka Fox and Daryl and in today's video uh, I was like what am I going to record? Uh, and then I thought because I've been speaking to a few friends of mine and um, and they said why don't you do a singing video? I'm like oh, why not? Like I've done one before just a ploy thing but then again I thought why not? So uh, disclaimer I am not a professional singer, I do not teach singing, and I sing just because it makes me feel good, and I sing just because it is beneficial to my health, my mental health, and I just love singing. A bit of background story. I have been singing since I was 14. I am 31, I'm going on 32 in July. <coughs> Uh, no kidding, uh, but I am going on 32 in July, so I've been singing on and off since I was 14. I've been doing several singing teachers. Uh, I've been having, <clears throat> I've not been doing them. Uh, well, this took a turn. <laughs> I have been singing, uh, taking singing voice lessons uh, since I was 14, back and forth. Uh, but since COVID started and since the pandemic happened, I have not been singing properly and Throughout the years, I have had several issues with my voice, uh, which is that I lost, I basically lost the entire upper range of my, of, of my vo vocal, um, of my, um, of, of my register. Mm. Lemon water. Mm. Um, so I am, I have been classified as a bass baritone. Uh, I did practice some counter tenor singing, um, uh, I thought, because I, when my voice was healthy, I could reach up comfortably about a high C, and that is not something that is, is Dave, because my falsetto goes up to a certain limit and then goes, Ugh! so yeah, I need to work on that. Um, so I thought, I want to get back into singing, I want to get back into singing properly. And I need to get back on track with exercising and doing things with like normal exercising and voice exercises and breathing exercises and everything. So where I am today is basically that I would probably have to do a complete restart of everything that I've done for the years because I have not been singing properly since May last year. And I haven't been at a singing teacher since before May last year. Uh, that, that means May 2020. Um, so I thought I might do a few exercises that works for me, that I feel comfortable with. And if anyone who knows about singing more than I do, and if anyone might be this a singing teacher, uh, feel free to comment uh, any, any tips or trick, um, that I might be needing to do or get back onto, uh, because as mentioned, this is not a professional singing video. This is just something for fun. I do not expect this to sound good. And also in the description below, I will also write like with capital letters, um, beware of voice breaks <laughs> because they might happen or they probably will happen. Uh, I'm filming this from my cell phone camera. So I'm like trying to ease, trying to like put it on, on a good thing. I don't know. What works for me? Nice. I have, I have a face. I have no face. There we go. That's it. So I am filming this from my cell phone camera. And um, so I don't know how the sound is going to be. But please do um, note that I don't expect this to be a professional video because it's not. <clears throat> so I'll start with a few vo vocal exercises that works for me that I feel is comfortable for me to do. and. I will also do some maybe voice breaks exercises and stuff like that just because I I tried to do yodeling a few years back just for fun just a little bit so I maybe do something of that and I will sing um, a piece of uh, a small part of Lata Kupyanga in different levels uh, of like my voice to see what is comfortable and what works and 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 if anybody wants to give me some uh, constructive criticism please feel free. Mm. So let's start with the exercises. I always find the lip trills is very nice for me. The lip trills is very, um, a very good relaxing method and I usually go around the house. Sometimes you just go brrrr. 
So when, when we do a, a, a lip drill, obviously we want to be as relaxed as possible and not force it because if we try to force it, it just becomes and then we just sound like a broken train whistle. So I usually do this because I have uh, fillers in my lips, hashtag fake. <laughs> uh, I have fillers in my lips and since then I have to put my fingers at the each side like here because then it helps me relax my, my, my muscles. I go right up there so this is the middle C and this is the C above and I could feel on this one that it I felt it here uh, right away um, because I am um, <clears throat> I feel like when I reach like B uh, above middle C and then go on to the next C I feel like I, I'm starting to push uh, automatically just because I'm I'm not used to sing anymore um, I, I'm so sorry that I'm not able to show you the keyboard as well, but I only have myself on camera. I need to invest in a better camera as well. <laughs> right. So let's go. E. So I'm going to go an E um, and just up and down, trying to like, just uh, as my singing teacher said to me, look fast. And what she meant by that is that I'm a skinny bitch. Uh, I mean, literally, I, I'm thin as a string. Uh, so, but I had, I, I still do have a tendency to like pull my stomach in for some reason, I don't know why, because that's just weird. But like, she was like, relax everything, be like, um, you know, a pile of potatoes in a sack, like, but relaxed and not slouching, but relaxed still. <clears throat> so I'm going to do an E. happening right between these two and because I feel like I'm doing that I don't know if that's just a thing or if that's just like just because the uh, the non habit I have uh, accidentally put on myself no um, also I should say um, I don't expect this to sound good just to know I don't expect this to be like sounding like oh I'm singing I don't know. Yeah. So if I sound like shite, it's okay because I am not doing a performance. I'm doing an exercise and I'm just trying to get my back on track, my, my back on the wall, my voice back on track. Um, so I take this slowly as and surely as I can. Let's do a bit of ha 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 ha, shall we? And when I do this, I try to like, I'm trying to get get. I mean, so when I do, I really want to. I really want to feel my stomach like going in and out, in and out. Like, like for example, I do. Uh, Keep my stomach in. Don't relax. So let's try to find the right position. Ha 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 ha. So my 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 diaphragm is working. Uh, and usually when we sing, we don't want to say H like ha. 
but in this case, when you practice like the staccato notes uh, on the short notes, um, it is okay, but when you do an H, it's usually pulling too much air over your vocal, vocal cords and you kind of lose the, um, the breath uh, much quicker and also you lose uh, some of the control. Oh, that, was, that was what I always was told at least. Uh, um, so again, this is not a professional video. I'm just trying to remember what I used to do like billions of years ago. Yes, I was born in the Middle Ages. This is only good magic. C above middle C. Um, let's see now, where is it? There we go. Um, is that a D sharp? I don't know the English terms for the notes. I, I, well, I do know the basic ones, but. Uh, I don't remember, it was so long ago, oh my god. It was so long ago I did music theory. <sighs> I can't, I can't. Oh. <laughs> no kidding. Um, but I came to D sharp, I think this is. Uh, one half step up from D. I hope my keyboard is uh, tuned to the right note because I did realize that once uh, I never like tweaked the keyboard settings on, on this thing, I only had it as it were. And apparently every single note on the piano was one half step the wrong way. So C was either, I don't know, I don't remember, but I think it's C was, my middle C was a B. Mm. So um, I practiced like one half step wrong for like, I don't know how many years, but very long. And um, which was kind of annoying because no wonder that I had a tough time finding notes. <laughs> And as I said, as I mentioned, I was classically trained, uh, or I have classical training in my background. So I will try to try to get that working again, or I will try to see if I can do some kind of classical, classical-ish singing. Uh, as I mentioned, I will do Lasha Kipyanga or a piece of it, um, and I will try to play the piano as well. So please, uh, please. Um, um, don't expect a miracle. <laughs> mm. Yes. Um, also, I will try to have to remember the notes in my head because I couldn't find the actual notes. And if I put on the note stand right in front of me, you won't be able to see me. So, yeah. And someone, or, or someone once told me, like, if you want to sing, learn how to sing opera, you should sing like Kermit. And that is a big no-no. Don't do it! My camera is like there. There is like the camera. I'm having my phone tilted to the side. But if you want to sound like opera, uh, sing opera or want to learn how to sing opera, sing like Kermit and like swallowing the notes. No. No. Don't do it. One thing I always uh, also was learned, um, or like something that actually works for me, is like throw your voice, like just throw it away. No, no, no thinking. Just like like calling on someone, like. Uh, and I will do an oi, and I will go on uh, the five step scale. Uh, is it queen? We call it, in Swedish we say kvint, uh, but I don't know the, if that's the same in English, like, but with an accent. So it's like... Mm, so I do, I like, I do, for example, C, G, and then I go, and, and then I glide back down. And then I do a scale. Oy, 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 oy. 
be that because it is set on I have tweaked the settings so it should be middle C uh, this should be middle C now right <sighs> that feels kind of okay though let's do a few more lip rolls I feel like E is the one that works for me the best because it's the freest of vowels. Because when we sing like A, E, O, and then we go E, suddenly the tongue goes whoop. Um, so E, E, A, E. So for me, E works kind of better. It feels like more relaxed. And I, I can also reach high notes on E. Um, and also when I sing in falsetto, E is much more, more uh, relaxing for me to sing in. It's especially now since I am out of practice. But for example, if, I, if we do a bit of a falsetto and see what that gets us, and I will try to do like both uh, like normal falsetto, like my pop falsetto and my classical falsetto um, or classical head voice, blah blah blah. Um, and again, again, don't expect a miracle because I won't. <laughs> this is just for fun and just for practice. This is no singing lesson, this is no no uh, professional thing, this is just, I do just do things that works for me and I, I'm just trying to get my voice back on track. So let's start on the middle C with this again. Mm. Let's start with the lip trill and I will go down to the F below middle C and then I will work myself up. Thank you. 
so now we did from uh, C, we went down to F uh, below middle C, and we went up to the C above uh, middle C. So one and a half octave ish. Um, so, okay, let's do uh, on E. E. Let's try an A. <laughs> yeah. Let's do some jazz. <laughs> it's very airy, very ugh, like that. I've not been singing in the falsetto for months and months and months, even years maybe. Let's try to make that more full, shall we? Like more round. I can already feel like on A I get in closer to a voice break because my falsetto is uh, e, and let's try an E. So it's all about, you know, I don't know what the term is in English, I think it's uvula, you know, the little thing back in your throat. If you go too high, you go so like this. It's not very pretty, but it's like, if I if I raise it, I get a round, rounder sound. Um, and I'll, I almost go towards Y. Sound like Maria Callas, no, I, <laughs> I wish. I mean, that would be amazing if I, if I as a male, but to sing or sound or have like the vocal range and the power of Maria Callas would be like, can I have an amen? <laughs> let's let's see if we can get above uh, above C, uh, above the C, which is above middle C. Time twister. And relax, relax, Jonathan, relax. I can feel myself not relaxing. <sighs> Ooh, let's just shake the body and try to relax. <sighs> just plump. Yes. So uh, my neighbors would probably kill me if I sing, sang too much. Hence why also the lack of practice, because apartment complex. <laughs> C above, uh, half step above C. No, 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 a big no. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit uncertain on that. No, I, 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 I'm covering out because, as mentioned, I am in an apartment and I have neighbors on that side, that side, that side, and that side. So I'm like, <coughs> but I do feel much more sorry for them, them, and them. Those are like, there's a bedroom behind that wall, and then. Hmm, what else can we do? What 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 more did I usually do? Mm, I'm trying to remember what vocal exercises I did. Um, yeah. So 
So let me show you what, what my voice do when I go too high, or my, what my falsetto does when I go uh, too high. I go that. Look at that voice, because now I feel like... So... It does that, because I... I don't know why. If, if I do like a rounder sound, I can work my way up a bit higher, but it's still, I can feel that it's not, it's not the same that it was, and I can no longer sing... <sighs> like, I, us I used to be able to sing a high C when I was younger, uh, like, comfortably I sing a high C, because it was about there, my vocal range, um, my falsetto range uh, rose up to, and also when I was younger, I could do like, you know, the power metal, like, wow, thing, like, wow! like like that and I could do that more comfortably I, I could I also had kind of a whistle re register uh, but then I had um, I had my voice I don't know what it's called in English um, I have to look it up uh, but I my I got an issue with my why my, my voice so I couldn't sing for like eight months which was not nice to say the least not nice at all uh... And what I'm trying to do here is that I start on a uh, non-vibrato note and then I add or I, I try to maintain, I, uh, when I reach the part when I start to do uh, the uh, uh, vibrato, I try to do that as un added as possible so it's like it's a natural reaction and um, so to say so i try to not do it on purpose um so i go clear and then i'm start to vibrate and because i could do but if we do too much vibrate and too much power uh, vibrato and too much power all the time people will just get tired entirely uh... crescendo kind of thing I go like small I go I, I, or, or I, I, I try at least I try to go like a bit like smaller and then I go volume and then I go sliding down uh, so I go like mm. yeah uh, or I try at least it's like the almost there uh, almost dear <laughs> almost there song from uh, Prince and the Frog with like because I'm almost there and she I think she's on the the um, C above middle C so that is that is not that is not a specifically high note but I have realized in later years uh, since of lack of practice and lack of um, lack of other things <laughs> lack of consistency yes uh, I have actually gotten a like a voice break here sometimes but speaking of voice breaks let's have some fun with those as, as mentioned in, in earlier in the video, I used to do some yodeling just for fun, not professionally at all. I just practiced like voice breaks because I thought it was funny. So like a a a a like and and I was explained that when you start yodeling or when you want to start yodeling, you go like find where your voice breaks and you go like and not trying to maintain like evenness across, but just go. Uh, and when when your voice like naturally breaks, if you don't like a dude like in in a um, but just when when your voice feels like it's gonna break, just you know let it switch over uh, by itself. Basically, it's that that was what I was uh, told. So then, uh, uh, okay, there we are. Uh, and also this is this is not gonna sound pretty at all. This is just for fun. A a. A A A hmm. A I think that's the G. 
Um, and try to maintain evenness across that as well, so you don't go like... Because I have um, noticed that I have difficulties going back down. Going up is not, not probably... A, that we're going the other way is usually sounds like... And then you go like... And then you can like, you can try to do like a scale like doing that, but that is so difficult, at least for me. And you go up and down like that, uh, and then you like try to do like, like uh, like one phrase, but it's the same notes basically. A, 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 and then you speed it up, and then you slow down, and then you speed it up, and then you slow it down, and then you try to implement it then as, as eventually then, you try to implement it in a phrase, in a song, and, and with a melody and la 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 la. And so it's like... Something like that, and then you try to implement the voice breaks on places where it should fit. Um, but yeah, uh, so that is something that you go, it's like, or trying to be like, or yeah, it's, it's, it's been so, so long, oh my god, it's been so long. Uh, I think I will have to cut this video up in sections like, oh, let's talk about this. Um, but yeah, let's go back into the uh, exercises. Mm, what should we do? Let's do a few more scales, I think. Um, uh, oh, trying to get back down to normal. Oh, and yawning is like one of my best friends ever. It has worked for me since the day of time, basically. Oh, and Lipros, Lipros is my friend. I did, I did do a few exercises before starting to record this video just because I needed to get myself going. Yeah. And also drinking coffee while singing is, is... At least it's not recommended of what I've heard. I don't know if, it's, if it doesn't even matter. But, but that's what I was told, at least don't drink coffee if you're gonna sing something. I was like, oh, okay. Or drink water afterwards. <clears throat> but should we try... Uh, let's try the logic, the first... Uh, like sentences of Lasha Kipianga uh, in like normal voice and mm, uh, or try to sing it as non-classically as possible and do again please be excuse me if I forget a few notes or something but because I haven't played this in quite some time or sang it in quite some time so if I sound uh, huh, then please bear with me <laughs> And I'm probably out of out of rhythm and tune as well. That's probably because it's been so long. I really need to get back and practice. It's just I'm an amateur. It's fine. I'm just having fun with this.
Sorry? I think I missed a note then. Let's do that again from the beginning. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I know this will be like, you will be able to hear me after I'm done recording and after I have edited the video and put it up on YouTube and stuff like that, but I'm still nervous because I know that my neighbors can hear me. Uh, even though I can't physically see anyone, I know that I can hear and someone like, <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to get out of my head and out of my system. I need to like relax. Like, It's okay. If, if you miss an auto sing false, that's okay. It's part of developing your voice, it's a part of the practice. Sometimes you sound like shit and that is because you are exer exercising and practicing. You are practicing towards the goal of sounding flawless. You are not in the position of sounding flawless when you practice. Or if you get my drift. I mean, that's the goal you should aim for. I mean, exercising is always exercising and not your performance. Okay. Whew, let's, let's do this from the beginning. Hmm. Should we add like a a layer on this? Maybe maybe a chamber. Jazz it up a bit, shall we? No. Um, I actually did start my singing, singing voice thing as uh, more of a jazzy sound because when I started to sing, I had like this natural, like, hey, yeah, hey, I, it was very airy, very like, mm, yeah, like Bonnie Tyler, but smoother. Um, um, and then I worked on like getting clarity and more <gasps> fullness in my voice so instead of going, Ah, this is like air, enough air to like, I don't know, breathe off the the wallpaper. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. <clears throat> This might be a two-part video though, um, just because of, it might be too long for one video, so like, yeah. Lasha. Oh my god, why am I, what, what, I'm, I, that's the thing, stop thinking. Just do, stop thinking. If it goes, if it sounds like shit, it's fine. Uh, it's just practice. Maybe I should just go back to the piano thing again. Maybe that was um, better for me. And also I need like a better keyboard. I'm coming out. I'm, I'm not. I'm not aiming for it. I'm just going. Ugh. That's like that's that's what I mean. We don't make you smaller than you actually are. Right from the beginning. I just need to get like whew, comfortable into this. I was 
like so short I reached it. Wow. Okay. I mean, it felt it felt kind of comfortable. It felt it, it felt okay, and uh, even on the high part when I uh, relaxed into it. Uh, with that said, though, uh, again, I will say this probably fifteen thousand times. I mean, not a professional singer. I sing because I find it uh, mentally stimulating for me, and also it uh, it is also pushing my mental health in the right direction. Uh, so it's like in, singing is very. For me, uh, it's a question of doing what I think is funny and uh, doing what I love, doing something that I feel is health-wise good for me and improving for me. And so that's why I do it. So again, I'm not a professional. I'm no singing teacher. I just do that which works for me when it comes to the exercises. And I also try just to do what I remember. And also I don't claim or I don't... Uh, try to be as good as I once maybe was, but I definitely need to get back on track and practice because I know I can improve way, way more if I just start practicing again properly. So I am just an amateur who loves singing. Just to be, just to be clear. But let's try to do that now in, in first like a normal falsetto and then try to do it like in a classical falsetto and see how that goes. Falsetto is not. Is not the falsetto is my friend. No, no, it's not. No, definitely not. No. God, I'm covering out so much. Okay, scratch it. Let's try it on the classical falsetto. <clears throat> since I am, though, uh, since I am so uh, unused, um, I'm not used to practicing anymore, so I can actually feel my voice already getting tired. And I can feel that definitely because my falsetto is, that small part of my falsetto that I still have is starting to like disappear. This is not a high note for me, uh, whether in falsetto or normal voice. That, that, is, that is not a high note for me uh, in my register. The, uh, the F, F sharp, or Fis, as we call it in, in, um, in, in Swedish. F I S S. But I can, I can, I can feel so much air. So yeah, this will probably not sound good at all. I don't know the notes anymore. That, that's too much. No, that is that is too much of a high note for me uh, right now. I feel. So I have realized in later years, when I practice, I mean, when I do stuff, and I mean, I can have a really, really good voice. Today is actually my one of my my better days. 
But when I sing, and since I'm so not used to practice anymore, and also since my falsetto has been like super weird after the, um, after all the issues I had with my throat, and um, I had like some kind of catar for um, on my vocal uh, on not vocal cords uh, on my air tube thing. Uh, uh, like two two times in a row, so I couldn't sing for eight months. Um, yeah, uh, but I did sometimes sing anyway, which was probably not that smart. But uh, but I think I I did go to doctor not too long ago and checked my vocal cords that they couldn't find any scarring. So it's probably just uh, that I need to get back on track. Uh, but but I, I realized when I sing in falsetto, like. Uh, I mean, it kind of works. I I did feel that was not. Uh, I felt a bit of tension going on there, um, but in in all everything else, but I can feel like sometimes the high notes just they're just becoming uh, that kind of sound because I am I kind of I need to find my technique again there because I am again for the billionth time not used on singing that high anymore. Let's try to do a bit of staccato. God, if I can do that. Yes, but thank you so much. Uh, I think this will be the end of this video though. So thank you so much everybody about for coming and please uh, do hit that thumbs up and like, share and subscribe and get that bell clicked on so you will get notified when I post my videos and I'll see you in the next one. And I hope um, this was um, a learning experience for you all because it definitely was a learning ex experience for me. So I'll see you in the next one and stay safe. Bye!